go ahead and open up the Ultimate Grindhouse uh, project, the full one, which is going to contain all the projects that you see here. So this originally is a CS5 project, however I'm going to use on this machine 5.5 for the case of the tutorial. So when you upgrade, you're going to have to resave the project. So make sure you do that if you're using CS 5.5 or CS 6. Okay, so again, remember, this full project is going to take some time to open up. It's got to load in all the mats, all the projects. So it may take a minute or even two. And thus is this is the reason why I wanted to break down the project smaller, just so you could kind of concentrate on the smaller projects and not be so pissed off with me. Okay, so when you open up the project, you're going to see over on the left-hand side the Grindhouse Packs. Now, this is going to be where all the projects are contained. So we have the title opener. We have the Burnout Pack, Pulp Strip, Rio Burns, Guys with Guns, Poster Smash, Credit Strip. And then we have the Advertisement Packs. So you see those cheesy restaurant fake ads I, I put in the preview that's where uh, these projects are going to be as well as the retro bumper and the inner cuts little splice cuts now I packed in all the projects as I was organizing the project I was trying to make it as simple as possible and really make these uh, projects fun for you to experiment and explore so with all the projects you are going to see a bunch of different controllers these are simply tools for you to you know have more flexibility and doing your own thing uh, so what we have here is if you installed your color presets you are going to see them of course in the animation presets here as you can see the grindhouse presets here so you can always just drag and drop those on an adjustment layer but to get on your good side, because these are beefy projects, I thought I would simplify with a color preset controller. So check it out. We're going to go to our effects control box, and you're going to see that all the color presets that were saved that you have for your own projects, I do have a switcher here. So you have uh, acid burn, and anything you want to change, you just switch on this little box. Okay, as simple as that. You can do two at a time if you want. An experiment. So that's pretty much it with the color presets. And you're going to see that in every single project. All these controllers are going to be the same with every project you see. So you'll get used to the flexibility of using your color presets, our lens grime mixer, the exposures, the sprockets, all that stuff for you to really play around and experiment. Okay, so next we have our Lens Grime Mixer. Now, if you did uh, purchase the Grave Encounters bundle, you will see this mixer in there. So it's going to be the same mixer. If you haven't, uh, you should probably go purchase it right now. I'll wait. I'm still waiting. There's probably a link in the bottom of this tutorial, too. You can go, go grab it. I will say it's amazing, but I'm sure you've already seen that. So again, the, the lens grime mixer here are going to have all different grime controls for the, the comp. So let's say if I start to go to something like fingerprint 2, start to pull that up, we can see we start to get this, this muck. You know, this is just kind of give your image a little bit of grime and texture. So it's a fun controller. You have a... Uh, 20 presets here and you can just kind of mix and match and, and get different little nasty looking grimy effects. So that's the Len Grime Mixer. Uh, next is going to be your exposure. So we can just go to our exposure slider here. Obviously all these can be animated. And then we have our sprocket control. And then you're going to have your flicker so, you know, you, I gave you this option. You can just choose to put this flicker on or shut it off. You, you will, of course, have a real film frame flicker with the scratch mats provided. So, again, just options. 
you have grain as well so these are uh, preset grains we have light medium heavy I keep them off but if you want just turn them on you're gonna get different facets of grain so if you are in the full ultimate grindhouse project you're gonna see that you have all the projects as well as splice cuts and adverts all edited right here in the uh, the full timeline okay so quick thought I should note if you did upgrade from CS5 to 5.5 or 6 do always remember that as soon as you open it you you're gonna have to save it so once you hit save it's gonna ask you to rename it so you're gonna save it as the version you're working with and just make sure you just put it into that same folder okay so you're gonna see in the timeline in the full layout version you're gonna have your splice cuts moving down you're gonna see your uh, title opener you're gonna see the preview attractions the adverts you're also gonna start to see your projects such as the burnout we have a pulp strip so there is a lot in this particular full layout pretty much everything you see in the full preview now we'll be getting into each individual project so I'm not going to break into working with any files just yet with this tutorial but I did want to mention it all right so moving on uh, number two folder here is going to be all our mats okay so I just organized them in there for you uh, you're gonna see your ash mats blood mats everything used in the project. Now, in the case of the project files that are condensed down into smaller projects, I did trim down the bulk by going to a file and removed unused footage. So all the mats that originally I brought in that aren't being used were uh, taken out of the project. So keep that in mind. Let's say you want to add some more film burns and you don't see all the film burns in there, you're just going to want to import those back into the project, okay? But again, these are going to be all your mats as well as your stills. Next, number three is going to be your renders. Now, in the case of the full layout, I broke it up into many render categories from the full project layout. Again, this is going to take a lot of time, just to warn you. And uh, please do note the render optimizing tutorial just to prepare your system. Try to speed up rendering as best as possible. Uh, but I did modify and break down, in the case of the full project bundle, each project into separate renders. So you're going to have a 1080p, a 720p, and then you're going to see this new render booster, which we'll look at in the uh, render tutorial. Okay, so that's pretty much it for your uh, layout. This is how everything's going to look. And again, remember that uh, you will get used to simply seeing everything packed into pre-comps. And you're going to see the same controllers used throughout all the projects, even within individual comps. So again, these are tools for you and for your experimenting and for your flexibility. 